A hand saw, this is used oftentimes in carpentry. The bow saw can be used for larger pieces of wood. The heavier type, one man crosscut saw, this is called a PV. A double bitted axe is very useful. The more slim that the axe is, the easier it is to do simple hewing with it. 16 pound hammer. This is an axe eye maul or a splitting maul with a handle in it. Hedge clippers for small trees and larger brush. A pruning saw works good. Then another tool that's useful is a machete, hand clippers. Here we can see there are two angles of bevel. There's an angle that's coming across the top here, and then there's another angle of bevel here. The lower angle of bevel is the one that we will want to sharpen. This can be done by using a stroke one direction against the cutting edge, and then we lift it up and bring it back. And we want to start all the way back at the beginning. But the hand side is very useful for cutting weeds, and the blade has to be sharpened at the proper angle. Here's an example of a scythe with a cradle. This has a long blade, as you can see here. This blade is designed for cutting grain, such as wheat or barley or oats. The loppers, this one here has a few little nicks. You can see them and even feel them. They're bent up a little bit, so we want to smooth that off, and we'll just run this on the flat side flat until that's all smoothed off flat. This is a bush axe. The swing blade can be sharpened as the others were with a file. If there's any little, little edge. When we look at a hoe such as this one, this hoe was new not long ago. It's been used some amount but no longer is there any sharpness on it. You can see it has a pretty round edge. How would you want to sharpen a hoe in order to make it work better? Matic or heavier digging tool. This is a pick. Different sizes of steel bars are very useful. Then a fencing tool is very useful. We have Different sizes of flat, or sometimes people refer to them as square shovels. They are good for shoveling things out of truck beds or from a flat surface where there's a place you can scrape along. The ball peen hammer has a round end on it for bratting over nails and, or uh, rivets and things like that. So by putting this flat side on the sledgehammer and then hitting the top, with a ball peen hammer, it flattens it over, spreads it out. This is solid all the way around, comes all the way down into the spade area, and the wood goes inside. There's not much likelihood of this twisting, breaking, or coming apart, that in some situations, you will have what looks like a solid handle such as you see on this garden fork, but in fact it's two pieces. As you see right here at the end, the garden fork is just on a, the end of a piece of metal that's stuck into the end of the handle, and this is just a steel collar around it. It's not actually a one piece. There's a post hole digger. This is actually made from the section of a sickle mower, such as is used on farm tractors for mowing hay or on roadside tractors that mow the grass along the sides of roads. Another kind of weeding device, which is very nice and works quickly, is what I call the cotton hoe, the kind of hoe that used to be used on cotton plantations. This is a steel cable with a special apparatus on one end and a loop on the other end. A come along, a pulley in a steel block arrangement. 
The hand seeder makes things much faster if you're doing a lot of hand seeding, such as in a field. These are especially useful for doing foliar spraying or spraying with things to help deal with pestis, pests and insects, funguses. You can use a rasp, a adjustable wrench, a large auger bit. Also for boring in wood, we have a brace.